Ah, oh, fantastic work, Raoul de Monet. Time to bring it back to the kitchen. Uh, and we know that this time of the year includes a bumper of seasonal treats. Yes, with a continued supply of veggies over here, over there, <laughs> everywhere, giving us, of course, uh, all the reason to really indulge and celebrate spring whilst keeping our health in check. Our clover fresh milk spring fish and veg bake is a great place to start, especially good after a solid workout. And even if you didn't work out, it's still just as good. That's if good. you want to get involved with the recipe, cook along with us. Go on to our website. It's www.expressoshow.com. I want to say this is, this is um, foolproof again. Idi idiot proof. <laughs> okay, well, that, um, this is perfect so I, I love ideal this. for me. Uh, cucumber and jasmine with tea. I love the, the extract. Are those so, the wipes? Um, those are the wipes mm. of choice. Um, so this is beautiful. Uh, again, packed with the right kind of vitamins. And it's also quite light. And anyone who's been on kind of like a high protein diet and reintroducing veggies, the right kind of veggies, definitely your collie, your broccoli, these sorts of things. Baby leeks, absolutely beautiful, which mm -hmm. we'll be introducing. Yeah. Um, so the white sauce is where it all begins. Okay. okay. I've got a bit of heat in the pan here. Right. Um, I've watched Nicole do this many, many times. And I hope you've um, been uh, learning. So I don't want to say the white sauce is, is foolproof, but it's a pretty much a stock standard way of approaching it. So we've got our butter going in, mm -hmm. a little bit of, of, well, quite a lot of garlic, actually. Well, we love, our, start then. love our, our garlic. Of course. Um, so we'll let that start to to really infuse mm. and then we're going to introduce just little bits of flour we want that to work its way through and this kind of forms the basis of your your white sauce mm. you almost want it to become like a little bit pasty you don't want the garlic to burn as well so don't make your your pan too too hot yeah i like that you're making it pasty because otherwise most people do make their sauces quite watery as well which can be a bit problematic in terms of flavor you know what i mean you lose so much of the flavor but the more creamy and the most more, more pasty it is the more i suppose tasty right because um, you're retaining all of that flavor um, yeah and you want it to break down you want it to to burn down so i'm just gonna add a little bit of i might be doing this slightly out of order but i'm just following my gut here because i don't want my, <laughs> my garlic to burn so i'm going to put now the baby leeks in Oh, that's the whole thing in the kitchen, you know? You make Go your ahead. own rules sometimes. Sometimes you break uh, some pre-established oh, rules, but it's all about the end product. Amazing. So I'm now, I was worried I was going to fry off my, my flour too quickly. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that's starting to thicken and look beautiful already. Mm -hmm. oh, while okay. Graham's doing this, go on our website. It's expressoshow.com. We've got this recipe on there. It's quick. It's very easy, but all the ingredients are also listed on there. Anybody can make this, I promise you. And you'll see just how easy it is once Graham's done with it. Okay, now I've put, um, again, um, half a cup of cream going in there. Uh -huh. um, it's looking absolutely amazing. And it's smelling, smelling good. absolutely amazing. Mm. Um, look up. It's probably not the best white sauce that anyone's made, but for a first attempt, it actually looks pretty good. It's not too lumpy. It's mm. mixed through. It looks delicious. I'm going to start, they say, season, season all the way through. So it's I'm the season, smell season. for me. Graham, it's the smell for me. Like, it smells so, so good. It keeps us nice and low. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of thyme, oh. one of my favorite, favorite herbs, undoubtedly. Try and kind of keep the stalks out of there if you can. Um, but thyme just is, it's a beautiful aromatic. It just adds so much for me. It's probably my favorite thyme and sage. I absolutely mm. love yeah, You can never with, go wrong with thyme, with a, a, a white fish, you know, it kind of it becomes a wonderful sounding board for flavors. Uh -huh. A little bit of fresh parsley. Uh -huh. Mix it in. Oh, now that yeah. thyme is just like yeah. woken up and activated. Yeah. Um, and bearing in mind that this is going to going to cook in the oven. So we don't really need to cook these through. It's just more about kind of infusing, combining all the right mm. flavors. Mm. Um, I'll put the fish um, right now, in fact. Uh, in goes the fish. There we go. This is such a good, healthy fish. If you want to drop like two kgs. Uh -huh. In one in, day? In one day. Yeah. Literally just eat only hake. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, all right. Um, it really is. It's, it's one of those like wonder foods. And then the last thing we're going to add to our bake here is some peas. Um, and you just basically want to cook this for two, three minutes yeah. just to kind of get the flavors infused. That's Before fine. you obviously this. throw this into right uh, your oven. So yeah, so once, once you've kind of infused all the flavors, yeah. things have started to cook, the flavors are releasing. You can see the beautiful pop of green colors. Remember, 
you eat with your eyes because yeah. your body identifies on a, some level yeah. the nutrients that you're getting out of your food through the yeah. color of those. That's where like a fresh green, you don't want to yeah. overcook the veggies, but that fresh green mm. pop is a good indication that you're getting a great vitamin content. So um, here at the base for our beautiful fish bake yeah. is laid, and then this is what gonna, is gonna get covered. So I'm gonna put you to work there, okay, buddy. Cool. You're gonna what be making to our, our beautiful crispy covering on top, All right. which is basically just mixed together our cheese. Mm -hmm. um, into here? Yeah, into What's the breadcrumbs. In That's just breadcrumbs. Oh, bread okay, and cool. so a little bit of feta, which is great. I, I think feta is nice because it comes with its own salt. You don't have to you add never too, have much too much salt, cheese. but I'm gonna add yeah, a little bit more You can here. never have too much cheese. That's my thing that I always say. So all of that cheese going in there, mixing it all. Oh. Together. It smells it smells amazing. It you know, you're getting a huge amount of nutrients mm -hmm. in it. You're also jam-packed um, with, with calcium and all the nutrients that mm. you need yep. thanks to our clover fresh full cream milk, which is uh, an, another master stroke. It's got it all. But should we take people through a blow by blow? Yeah. This is how we arrive at this beautiful mixture becoming this amazing Look at that. product. Look at that. Made with love by Clover.